Strange, strange Owlman. In Cornish folklore, the Owlman, sometimes referred to as the Cornish Owlman, or the Owlman of Manawen, is an owl-like creature said to have been around mid-1976 in a village of Manawen, Cornwall, M-A-W-N-A-N, based in the United Kingdom. The Owlman is sometimes compared to Mothman, However, a Houstonian eagle owl is more like the source of the legend. According to the legend, our man was first seen by two girls named June and Vicky Melling in April 17th, 1976, who were on a family vacation in Manawan. The study was initially investigated and released by the claim of Tony Doc Shells. The two girls have been a seen a very a large winged figure hovering about the tower at St. Menowin and St. Stephen's Church, Menowin. In most, in most versions of the story, the girls are so scared their father, Don, immediately called off the vocation after hearing their tale. Couldn't the shells, one of the girls, provided him with a drawing of the creature, which he dubbed Owlman. The story was subsequently repeated to a pamphlet entitled Manawenua, The Monsters of Falmouth Bay, by Anthony Moran Pella, who circulated throughout Cornwall in 1976. According to Shells, our man was reported again on 3rd of July that year, by two 14-year-old girls, identified by as Sharon, Shirley Chapman and Barry Perry, who had been camping in, at the time when they were confronted by our man, they were previously aware of the our man tale. How many described as a feathered birdman which would linger around churchyards is also described as looking like a big owl with pointed ears as big as a man with glowing eyes and black talons. Beyond the initial sightings of girls in 1966, there been sporadic claims of our men's sightings in the vicinity of the church. These sightings circulated in 1978, 79, 89, 1995. According to the legend, a loud like owl like sound could be heard at night in Mullerland churchyard during the year, the year 2000. According to Dole for Joe Nickel, church towers are common nesting places for barn owls, which are likely the source of the sightings. Author and Photonian TV presenter Reverend Lionel Fourth Banworth also identifies the sighting as an erythrian skin eagle owl. E R a E R A S A I N, the likely source of the legend, a cult historian, Gareth Head Midway, suggested the whole thing may have been a hoax by shells who had a reputation for hoaxing. May, the whole thing, the way noted that witness claiming encounters with legendary monsters were well, either. Dot shells or friends of dot shells or relatives of dot shells or put it their sightings of dot shells. No one else. Well, there's letters describing that we've seen most seen to newspapers and women but ne- never lit- interviewed by anyone. If you wish to know more, I highly recommend the book, book by John Downs, The Airmen and Others. If you wish to look at films, the Almond Feeds at Midnight is episode season one of Popular Children's series show. The Secret Saturdays, the plot of the episode, involves a town terrorized by a cryptid, Almond. A cult worshiping the Almond in rural Cornish village is the central focus of the 2014 Almond by Emily Broadman of Fishing, Spoiling Fish in Rural Broth. An Elman is depicted in Scottish independent horror film, Lord of the Tears, depicted by Laurie Rooster. In this film, Elman represents the god Moloch.